probably my most popular book before this was in 1998, which was The Death of the Necromancer, which did really well and uh, was up for a Nebula Award for Best Novel. But everything, the Raxura books did well, but they did well over a long time. They didn't, they kind of, it was a very slow build. And, um, and I was very content with that, especially by the time the fourth or fifth one had come out. And I'd done a Star Wars novel um, also. So I had kind of, it was kind of a slow build. And I thought, well, this is good. This is, this is, this is, you know, I can, um, you know, make enough money to help, you know, to be uh, not a drag on my family and um, things like that. But um, having a book take off and I'm, I never expected to be on the Yuga ballad. I never expected to be on the Nebula ballad again, a ballad again. I never expected, certainly never considered the fact that it might, I might have a book that would be a, a New York Times bestseller. So it's all just been really weird and strange for me. Actually, after I finished writing The Cloud Roads and also during that time and, and The Serpent Sea, which was the second book in the series, and I wrote Emily in the Hollow World, which was a, a, a kind of young YA novel I did. And um, my agent was taking around The Cloud Roads and Emily at this time. And it, after about two years of The Cloud Roads meeting every publisher, <laughs> you know, there was out there and being rejected, I was like, this it's time to give it up. And I was kind of looking into what I was going to do next and trying to figure that out. And also um, I couldn't afford to go to conventions out of state, but I was, you know, I would go to the one, you know, Armadillo con in Austin and um, DFW con and things like that, you know, to hang out with my friends. And also I was still on programming. I'm like, I can't do that anymore. So I was kind of canceling convention appearances right when the cloud roads sold. So to, to Nightshade Books. So that was, it was kind of like, oh, and, you know, trying to get everything restarted. Um, and also it was basically like starting over because two years in publishing is enough time for most people to forget you unless you've had a big hit. Uh, most people are just going to, you know, it was like starting over again as a new author. I was mm -hmm. even uh, referred to as a... Um, a promising newcomer, <laughs> some things. And it was like, oh man, you know, and this was after nine books and uh, a Nebula nomination. <laughs> so yeah, if you still want to write and you still want to do it, some people just really hit a wall where they can't emotionally take the rejection. And it is really hard at times, really hard. And again, I was at the point where I was getting ready to kind of, you know, shut it down and go on with some other part of my life but yeah if you still love it and you still want to keep doing it then you'll know, keep trying